Why did Bitcoin suddenly drop? What should long position holders do? If you're interested in knowing more about this, please keep watching. Let's first take a look at the positions I previously opened on Bybit. I still hold the long position opened earlier, which is a Bitcoin position worth around 750,000 US dollars. The entry price was approximately 28,500 US dollars. It's still profitable. However, the profit has reduced due to the recent drop. But there is still a profit of over 47,000 US dollars. If you find this profit attractive, you're welcome to click the Bybit link below. After completing KYC and depositing 100 US dollars, you'll receive a 1,000 US dollars Bitcoin contract position as a gift. It's a real position. All right, let's take a look. After all, today's decline is a sharp one in the short term. Let's plot a few key price levels. On a daily chart, the drop has been on low volume. A drop with a shrinking volume, the one we're experiencing now, is still considered a healthy correction, I reckon. However, if we see a massive volume-driven decline in the future, it would be a signal for the bulls to be cautious. Let's look at the 4-hour chart. The current decline is relatively small in terms of its time cycle. Let's dive in. Currently, the oscillation at the upper range has not formed a clear pattern yet. However, looking at the lower boundary, we can draw a distinct trend line. As long as our Bitcoin price remains above this trend line, I consider it relatively safe. However, if it breaks below in the future or let's see, if we examine it from a 4-hour perspective, we can see that the volume during the downtrend has not increased. Despite the significant price drop, if we consider it from the highest point, it's nearing a decline of almost 1,000 US dollars, which is quite substantial. However, in terms of volume, it has not shown an increase. I would consider the presence of increased volume as a sign of greater danger for the bullish side. Currently, I still believe that it is more inclined toward a healthy correction. However, unless two signals appear, I would consider the possibility of the current pullback expanding. Let's take a look. First, the initial point is here. Here is the lowest point of this correction, approximately around 29,400 US dollars, which is about 1,000 US dollars away from the current price. It's 29,400 US dollars. If this price level is breached, all long positions added within the upper range, regardless of how they were initiated, whether opening or adding to existing positions, should be reduced. Once the lower boundary at 29,400 US dollars is broken, I would consider it appropriate to reduce the added positions or the positions opened within the white range. This indicates that the long positions opened above carry significant risk. It implies that a breakout is unlikely to occur in such a short period and would require further oscillation. Well, if we have opened long positions at lower levels, targeting a longer-term perspective, I would suggest holding them for a while. For instance, some friends may have opened positions around US dollars or slightly above, either just breaking the trend line or yet to break it. From a larger time frame perspective, this price level is still relatively safe. Okay. Considering the overall upward movement, as we discussed before, we're likely to have wave 3. On the weekly chart, let's examine it. Well, besides the lowest point, let's also look at the oscillation box pattern. We can observe that the price has not yet broken out of this box. Regardless of its movement, if we experience a bearish downside breakout, with the real body of a bearish candle closing below 29,700 US dollars, it would indicate an increased probability of the pullback expanding. Based on the current situation, the price has been in this range, undergoing corrections and oscillating. Therefore, even if it hits the lower boundary, I would consider it a normal condition, without a sudden drastic increase in risk. However, if it breaks out of this range, I believe the risk increases. Now let's focus on the volume aspect. These are the important points to consider. All right. In smaller time frames, we can observe that although the volume is not significant, the drop is quite substantial. Now, let's shift our attention to Ethereum. Ethereum has also experienced a significant decline. In this market downturn, especially if you look closely, personally, I also added to my Ethereum position when it broke key levels. Now, I am considering whether to close this position again. Because as you can see, however, I think further observation is needed. 
If we zoom into a larger time frame, say a 4-hour chart, we can see a clear S slash a reversal around 1,910 US dollars. The price stabilized above it and resumed an upward move. However, it retraced. The price is now below the S slash or reversal level. So, if it struggles and fails to rebound, choosing to continue downward, then I would close my previous Ethereum long position. Currently, I'm already at a loss of around 1,100 US dollars. Although the position size is not large. I opened a small position because the entry price wasn't good. However, a loss of 1,100 US dollars isn't a small amount. If the loss of my Ethereum position expands and Ethereum fails to hold around the support at 1,900 US dollars, I will gradually reduce my Ethereum long position. When it comes to opening positions, I always do it in batches because it can be challenging to determine the exact price. I open positions in batches and exit in the same way. Similarly, stop loss orders are implemented in the same manner. This helps ensure that risks are diversified and the entry prices are averaged within a range. All right, thank you. You're welcome to like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the little bell button to show me your greatest support. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.